required to fix the problem, but he's entitled to the money. Breaking news right now on KCAL 9 News at 4. And now at 4, breaking news, Sky 9 live in Covina where there's a deadly car crash. Right, Desmond Shaw is live overhead. Desmond, what can you tell us? Uh, Susie and Amy, uh, sadly, we do have one person here that has died at the scene in this crash along Vincent Avenue in the city of Covina. Now, why not show you a light pole uh, got taken out over this as well. You see Southern California Edison on scene trying to get that light pole back up. Amazingly, all of the power lines actually stayed intact. None of them snapped. Uh, so that's uh, at, at least some good news as far as the repairs go. But now the investigation involving CHP is whether this person in the vehicle died in the crash or the thought is, is that they may have actually had a medical emergency that caused the crash and that that is how uh, sadly this person may have died but the investigation taking place here on uh, Vincent the only injury and sadly that is that the person that passed away at the scene from this crash in Covina live at Skynet overhead I'm Desmond Shaw Susie and Amy back to you in the studio all right Desmond thank you very much and our other big story here at four caught Corona police waste no time tracking down the suspect behind a deadly movie theater shooting. Yeah, that shooting happened at a screening of the latest Purge movie on Monday night. Well, police say witnesses are to thank for leading them to the shooter. This afternoon, KCAL 9's Michelle Geely is live in Corona with more on how they connected Joseph Jimenez to the shooting. Michelle? This was unprovoked, police say. The suspect allegedly surprised these teenagers once the movie was over and shot them both in the head. Now, all three of them are from Corona, but they went to different high schools and there's no evidence that they knew one another. During a briefing, police told reporters that a gun was recovered as well as property belonging to one of the victims at the suspect's home. Hear now what the suspect's next door neighbor told us. My son detected a little bit something strange about the guy.